KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, November 3rd, 2018. I am meteorologist Scott Martin sitting in again this week for Brian Peters. Today will be an outstanding fall day in central Alabama, but we will have the potential for strong to severe storms for the start of the work week. Details on that in just a minute. As of 620 this morning, we have beautiful clear skies across central Alabama, but we do have some areas of fog in the northern parts of the state, and a significant weather advisory goes until 8 a.m. this morning for the counties in north Alabama for that fog. Temperatures across the area were in the mid-30s to the lower 40s, with the cold spot being Fort Payne at 34 degrees. Birmingham was at 43 degrees, tied as the warm spot with a few other locations. Temperatures across the nation at this time shows 40s and 50s for much of the southern half of the U.S., with 30s in the north. We do see temperatures in the 20s in the northern parts of Minnesota and in the northern tip of Wisconsin. Nothing like that expected in central Alabama for the near future, and that is good news to me because I am not ready for that nasty cold yet. Taking a look at the severe weather outlooks, only a marginal risk of severe storms in the extreme northeastern parts of the country for today. The Day 2 graphic for Sunday shows a marginal risk in southern Louisiana, and the Day 3 graphic is the one that will bring attention to the state of Alabama as it shows an enhanced risk for severe storms for much of the northwest parts of the state, with a slight risk for much of the rest of north and central Alabama. And then the Day 4 graphic shows a severe risk for the northern half of Georgia and a good chunk of the Carolinas and the Virginias, which also includes the extreme eastern parts of north and central Alabama. All right, model fans, here's something that we will not say again for the rest of 2018. Here's the 06Z run of the GFS model valid today at 18Z or 1 p.m. Central Time. Due to daylight saving time ending today, or later tonight, I should say, 18Z will be noon from now until early March of 2019. We have a trough out to our west and another trough working its way through the New England states. For us in Alabama today, we'll have bright sunny skies and very nice temperatures for early November. Afternoon highs will be topping out in the mid-60s to lower 70s across the area. Skies will continue to be mainly clear through the late night and overnight hours tonight, with lows dropping into the 40s for most part, spots. A few upper 30s are possible in the colder locations. For Sunday, we will see a trough starting to move to the east and deepening somewhat, which that will push a cold front in our direction. The first half of the day will be mostly clear, but clouds will build in during the afternoon and into the evening hours. We'll have a small chance of isolated to scattered showers during the late afternoon hours, but the rain will become more likely after sunset, especially for the northern half of the area. Highs will top out in the mid-60s to the lower 70s, with lows dropping into the 50s. On Monday, we'll have a few showers lingering around during the daytime hours, but the main strong to severe weather action will move in late on Monday night and through the morning hours on Tuesday. You can see the 1000 millibar low over Oklahoma on Monday at noon, but it will quickly move to the northeast and will be over the Great Lakes just 24 hours later at 984 millibars. Highs on Monday will be in the 70s and in the lower 70s to the lower 80s on Tuesday. Taking a look at the severe weather parameters, this is the 500 millibar wind speeds as of noon on Tuesday and we can see the strong jet that will be in place which means that we'll have plenty of dynamic support for strong to severe thunderstorms. This is the graphic showing shear from the surface up to the 500 millibar level. The red wind barbs are at the surface and this shows that surface winds will be out of the south. Winds will increase greatly with height and will begin to veer from the southwest at 850 millibars or roughly 5,000 feet and out of the west-southwest and stronger at 500 millibars or roughly 16,000 feet. This all means that the environment will be highly sheared and will be supportive of all modes of severe weather, damaging winds of in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour, large hail, and a few tornadoes. 
and there could be a few significant long track tornadoes in the mix as well. It is still relatively early to have all of the details ironed out completely, but we'll have updates throughout the weekend when the new model data, data comes out. On Wednesday, we see the system is quickly out of here and we return to nice weather. Skies will be mostly clear and highs in the mid-60s to the lower 70s. On Thursday, we see another system building out to our west and we'll be spreading the chance of showers in our direction, giving us a chance of showers and thunderstorms on both Thursday and into early Friday. Highs on Thursday will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s and just a tad warmer on Friday with highs in the mid-60s to the mid-70s. And to finish up today, we take a look at the tropics and we see that all is quiet across the Atlantic Basin and nothing is expected to form within the next five days. That is your Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the weekend, including updates on the potential for severe weather on Monday and Tuesday. Bill Murray will have your video bright and early on Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day and God bless. 